So I'm Molly Dilworth. Um, I'm an artist who lives in Brooklyn. I grew up in Chelsea, Michigan, not so far from Toledo. And about five or six years ago, I started making paintings outside, large scale paintings, mostly on um, rooftops and street surfaces to be seen on Google Earth. So that's really how I started going from small studio paintings to larger scale um, paintings. So the mural for I-280 is called Fort Industry. I was really looking at the history of um, World War I and II production in Toledo, and I'm really fascinated with patterns and uh, textiles and fabrics. And I was looking in the beginning for um, boat production, World War I boat production, because I knew I was interested in dazzle camouflage. And as it turns out, all the boats for war were produced on East and West Coast ports. But there is a Jeep factory and obviously like large war production in Toledo. Um, the idea with Davizel camouflage is they would paint a pattern all over the whole ship, you know, from the top to the, or to the water line, so that w if you saw the ship, you couldn't tell if it was coming or going. Sometimes it was just black and white. Sometimes it was black, white, and gray. So it would almost like um, blend in with the water or the mist itself. But the whole idea was to, to disguise, um, disguise the ship and the direction it was moving. One of the tricks about the site is I wanted to keep the color scheme to three, four or maybe five colors because it's a pretty complicated surface. There's a lot of different textures on the actual building and it's wrapping around a corner. And also just optically, it's easier to get things going on if there aren't 700 colors. Toledo's motto is called to work is to pray. And I, I thought that, that really connects into the project. And it also just connects into like making it, like, the actual making of the project was a lot of like practical knowledge about scaffolding, about lifts, about getting license, about OSHA rules. And also it's funny working in Toledo because I'm also a Midwesterner and that idea of like the Midwest work ethic is a real thing. Like it's, it's so exciting for me to work in a place where like people know how to build things and they have equipment and you know, there's all this practical knowledge about how to make things. You know, a lot of places work is just thought of as like, oh, I have to go to work or something. But there's a real pleasure in, in labor here that's like so evident everywhere around the city.